Hey guys, um, my name is Simon. I am head of development at Bluegrass Digital. And I wanted to talk today about one piece of work in particular that we did for a client that had an existing React Native app, a finance company, and they wanted to build a loan repayment calculator where you can see based on the amounts that you select in the sliders, what happens to your total interest and your loan term, depending on what you change those to. There were two libraries that I stumbled upon. Those libraries were React Native Reanimated and React Native Gesture Handler. I actually contributed to reanimate that I added a format primitive node, which allowed you to take the animated value and pass in a string format. iOS, Swift and Java support this concept of string formatting and it's a standardized thing. So I actually added that format node to the underlying reanimated library and that worked out really, really well. So we don't even have to cross the bridge to format and display those numbers, the different formats. You want a lot of your graphical and animation type stuff to be running on a different thread to where you're crunching numbers or doing heavy data manipulation because otherwise they'll block each other and cause jitters. In React Native there is an animated library that you can do all sorts of great animations in that can run on the UI thread. What makes React Native amazing and is also its primary limitation is that it has a bridge between what's on the native side, the underlying Swift and Java code and the React UI side the UI side can pass messages across the bridge to the native side, and the native side can pass messages across the bridge to the UI side. The great thing about reanimated and gesture handler is that it set out to solve that problem. What they did is create a bunch of primitive node types that are effectively functions that are mirrored between the JavaScript side and the native side on Swift and Java. What that means then is that I can take these primitive nodes and declare relationships between values and between interactions without ever crossing the bridge. So the idea with reanimated and gesture handler is that you can make everything run on the native UI thread and the bottleneck of crossing the bridge constantly disappears. In building it, there were a few issues. The first one, which was when you tap on the slider, that little water droplet and it sort of has that curve associated with it that makes it look quite natural and the animation is quite natural and it pops up above your finger so you can still see the number. And I had to get quite deeply into custom SVG and learn about um, cubic and quadratic Bezier curves to approximate that semicircle and then animate it based on that tap gesture. And then the last issue was that Present value calculations are relatively straightforward. To actually do those calculations on the native thread and have the relationship, I needed to use the reanimated primitive nodes. I needed to convert all of those present value calculations into reanimated node calculation, which took a lot more time than I anticipated. But in the end, I think the result kind of speaks for itself. It was, it was a really great build and it was a lot of fun to do.